Hello, Group 1. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading, which is how does your person feel about you right now, where I will take um, a look into the energy of the person you're connected to on a soul level to see how they feel about you. All right. So I first want to thank you guys so much for liking the video, subscribing, sharing, becoming patrons, checking out the extendeds, getting personal readings. I just we had to let you know I appreciate you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, you guys. Um, I actually want to do this a little different. I want to grab a message first to see how this person is feeling about you. And then we'll go into the tarot deck. Um, you guys were drawn to the black, uh, to the blue, to the amethyst. I'm sorry, to the amethyst. All right. And you have the shadowscapes tarot. All right, so let's take a look at a message from your person, their feelings for you at this time, and then we'll grab tarot messages. All right, so how does your person feel about you, whoever's on your mind, whoever you're thinking of, group one? How does this person feel about you? Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, so they have a lot of feelings. Um, Let's see. Let's try this again because way too many came out. All right. I'm loyal to you. So this person feels like you're worthy of being loyal to. All right. This is someone who um, is giving you credit for possibly like changing their life around um, at, at the very least, making them feel something deep and something that feels like they are willing to be faithful and exclusive with you. All right. This person in this message is saying no one has made them feel like this. OK. Okay. The way that you make them feel there's a loyalty from this person because of that, because of the unique way you've made them feel. I feel like this person's feelings for you um, are showing up already to be kind of established, right? Um, they don't seem to have any questions about their feelings for you. So let's see where this goes. Um, I'm going to put this to the side for now. And let's get into your tarot messages. So how does this person feel about group one? getting deeper into this message how does their person feel about them thank you how does your person feel about you group one thank you we have the wheel of fortune the four of swords the star judgment yeah i can see where you changed this person's life um, their feelings definitely are reflecting that so far. Let's keep going. How does your person feel about you? We have the Knight of Pentacles. All right. How does your person feel about you? We have death. Lots about change. Okay. What you've done to change them. Two of Pentacles. All right. The horrifying, interesting. And so we have the fool here. So I don't feel like this person has ever felt this way before group one. Um, the message that's coming through is that they have very strong feelings, um, feelings that they possibly may not be able to put into words, um, feelings that I do feel like they are able to express. But if they haven't felt this way before, this is kind of new for them. This is new territory, um, possibly being in love or being in love in a way that they feel, you know, being in love when you're 17 is different from being in love when you're maybe two decades older, you've been through some things, you love a little differently, you feel as if you can love with a little bit of wisdom and with more perspective and more depth. And so that's what I get from your person. Um, they, they have possibly felt like they knew what love was, but with you, they seem to pinpoint it exactly. This what this is what love is. All right. Um, this is something that I feel like they've been wanting for a long time for how they feel about you. They could feel like this is an absolute risk, you know, giving your heart to someone, being vulnerable for someone. But this person feels very excited about you. This person feels like you're taking them on this journey they've never experienced before. And I feel like the energy is that they are loyal because they want to see where this journey goes, right? They don't want to do anything to screw this up. 
So let's go into these messages. So the will of fortune for how your person feels about you right now. Um, this is saying that this person has had some changes in their feelings. This is where they meet you and they're not really expecting anything deep. They may be attracted. Um, they may like the conversation. This is where you've changed their mind and heart over time, especially after they've had time to like reflect on it with the four swords and the star showing up right after. So the will of fortune is this person, how they feel about you is like you're like they they feel lucky they feel lucky to be connected to you they feel fortunate they feel blessed all right for the most part this is someone who feels blessed this is someone who does feel as if they are acknowledging that you have changed their life okay so let's take a look at the will of fortune for how they feel about you thank you all right how does this person feel about group one let's go deeper into the wheel the lovers so this is confirmation that this person feels like you're their match. You're the one for them. You've changed their life. You've made them understand love. This is somebody who feels like it may have taken a long time to find you. Um, it kind of feels like they want to say, I've been waiting for you all my life. This is what I've been wanting. I can't hold the lover's card up too much here, but I do feel like this person is feeling very fortunate to connect to you. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or someone with both of those placements in their chart. Um, this person is... So speaking of those two signs, this this is a sign that is all about taking those chances and taking those risks. Um, and so this can definitely resonate for you if, if you are dealing with um, a Sag or a Gemini here. Um, but it does feel as if you have somebody, regardless of their sign, that feels like you're an angel, okay? That feels like this connection is protected. It could even feel like they are protecting you. For them, this connection feels destined and it's something that they do want to protect. Um, I'm also, I'm almost getting that they, that they worship you. Okay. I have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck and it's also here in your reading. So I feel like this person worships you. They worship how you make them feel. Their heart is very like connected to yours. So with the lovers, the will of fortune, that's like a stroke of luck. That's like once in a lifetime. I was never expecting to feel this high from someone to feel this elated about a connection. So this person is very deeply in tune to what they feel for you. And again, it feels as if they believe what you guys have with each other is anointed and blessed and favored and protected. So um, this person feels like you guys are um, divinely met, like you met in a divine way, like you're meant to be together. So we go straight into the four of swords where I feel like they've actually had time to reflect on this. Um, you know, this feels like while this person is excited and there's a lot of maybe youthful, playful energy surrounding your relationship. You guys could just have a really good time together. This person is not mindlessly sort of understanding these, these feelings. Um, they're understanding these feelings from a place of depth, from a place of reflection. Um, I feel like your person, um, how they feel about you is you've healed them. You've You've made them see things in a way that they were not seeing them prior to you. This person feels peaceful or at peace with you, calm, restored, like they can take a break from maybe the madness in their life. Okay, so let's see what the Four of Swords is. Let's take a look here. Yeah, the sun. They definitely feel restored. So um, this feels like somebody laying out on a warm day in the summertime on the beach underneath the sun and just basking, right? Just, just, just glistening. And it's just such a feeling of warmth and protection and that they're covered in a divine way. So that's how your person feels about you. This person feels like this connection is protected. Like you guys were meant to meet each other. This is somebody who feels very hopeful about you. Their feelings are coming through. It's very warm, very cozy, um, feeling comfortable with you, feeling again, 
been at peace, restful with you. Like they don't have to like try to impress you. Like they don't, that you guys may not have had a lot of fights or arguments. Um, you're coming through as a peaceful healing source for this person. So you could definitely just be someone that they turn to for, um, some type of like when things are getting out of control, out of hand in their life, they feel like you are the balance to that. You are the opposite end of that. You are bringing um, joy. You are bringing something that isn't stressful. So this person feels like they know that you're their soulmate in this energy. The four of swords with the sun. Again, they've had time to sort of reflect. They've had time to feel, you know, everything they feel for you. And it seems as if they've received confirmation in this energy that you are the one for them they 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 they've gotten confirmation in more than one way on more than one account they've gotten confirmation about this connection um the star this is more confirmation of a soulmate energy this person feels like you have guided them this person feels like you have been great for their spirit. You know, you know how you're connecting to somebody and you're like, this just feels good to my spirit, good to my soul. It's effortless. So that's what I get from this person, how they feel about you. Like you're a divine guide, like you're a star in their eyes. Um, this person does feel like you are worth working things through with whatever your challenges may be, whatever challenges, um, could come you know, into this connection. This person is just getting the the sense that you guys will know how to handle it. Um, how do they feel about you? They could feel like you're their angel, their earth angel. Why is the star here? It's the three of pentacles. This person feels like they don't want to be without you. But the three of pentacles, this shows that something works. But you have to be together, right? And so I feel like this person feels like if you're not with them, if you're not in their life, things won't be the same. Things won't work the same. Things won't feel the same. And so I get where your person feels like you're a vital part of their life now. Um, this three of pentacles is about um, collaborating. It's about connecting to others to fulfill a purpose, complete a goal. And so your person is saying that you guys have some divine path together and that it must be accomplished together. They cannot get this with somebody else. They can partner up with whoever they want. They know, they already know though, they're not going to feel the same way. They're not going to have the same, um, desire to, to collaborate, to create, to fulfill some purpose. And so this is where you come in. It feels as if you've awakened this person to a divine purpose, judgment right there. So um, this person does feel like you were um, sent to wake them up. All right. There have been some things that they've gone through in their life um, when you were connecting to when you initially connected to them that they were dealing with going through maybe health issues, um, maybe just family stuff, money stuff. It feels as if you have been the key to helping them solve some problems here, helping them uh, get, eliminate some conflict in their life. So you're really a wake up call, a walking wake up call for this person that they deserve better that they deserve more. All right, let's see why we have judgment. It's the hermit, exactly. So how this person feels about you, um, they are very spiritually connected to you, okay? This is somebody who has surpassed the physical uh, connection with you. This is someone who has gone deep within to really try to understand this connection. And I feel as if they have. Um, again, I feel as if they've received confirmation in many ways at many times about this connection. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Virgo, but this is someone who feels as if um, you make like You've elevated them in some way. They feel like you are. Very strongly feeling like you like saved them. Brought them into the light. Took them out of the dark. Made them see what they could not see on their own. You make them feel uplifted. All right. You make them feel. Special. 
So how this person feels about you is that you are, they, they almost feel like they're indebted to you. Like they respect you. Like they honor you. They are loyal to you. Um, cause these are very intense feelings. So you guys have someone here who feels like you are a rare gem <laughs> that they happened upon or that was sent to them and that they need to respect you. Um, you have Leo energy here. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles for how they feel about you right now. They feel like they want to savor the moment with you. They enjoy all the time they spend with you. And so they want to enjoy every moment. They want to take it slow. They do want to savor the moment. If you feel like this person moves slow, if this person gets disconnected, um, I do feel that. I feel like there's a lot of strong energies here feeling almost like sometimes they may may have to pinch themselves um, that they're connected to you. You have many major arcanas in this reading. So you change this person's life. They need to adjust, okay? But I do feel like they want to savor the moment. They want to move at a pace where they're not missing out on anything with you. How this person feels about you is that you're valuable to them. You're precious to them, okay? Again, with the goals, with the Knight of Pentacles, there is something you are meant to accomplish to together how do they feel about you with this knight of pentacles more virgo energy here there could be two virgos connecting the ten of swords so interesting um you can make this person feel like at some point they are going to have to um pick up the pace, like moving slow is something that doesn't work for them the way that it used to. I feel like this person has just been wanting to enjoy the moments with you, really wanting to like appreciate the journey they're on with you, but not if it is something that makes you question their commitment, not if it's something that makes you question their devotion or their dedication in some way to you. So I do feel like with the Knight of Pentacles energy showing up, this person has had a way of moving slow in the past with others. There is definitely something with this Ten of Swords coming through where it feels like you um, make them want to move at a different, at the sort of the different pace here with the Knight of Pentacles for how you make them feel and the Ten of Swords. I get also that sometimes you can make this person feel like they're not good enough. Not that it's you, but how they feel about you is that you are the, the model, okay, for the type of partner they feel like they manifested, they feel like they desired for a very long time. And I feel like this Knight of Pentacles energy, because we go right to death. So I do feel like this Knight of Pentacles energy is saying that this person may have thought they had it all figured out and together. They may have thought they knew what they wanted and where they were going. It wasn't until you showed up where they felt like, okay, how I feel about group one is that I need to do better. I need to change or make some changes. I really do need to. I feel like this is where you inspired them to end certain connections in their life or end certain habits in their life, uh, how they feel about you is they're willing to do those things for you, like things that have worked for them for years with the Knight of Pentacles, things that they thought were getting them to where they want to go. It's like they realized with you, it wasn't getting them there fast enough or they weren't, you know, on the right path. And so they don't have a problem ending things if it feels like it gets them closer to you, even procrastination, right? For some of them, how they feel about you is I don't want to procrastinate with group one. I actually want to, you know, kind of get this ball rolling. I want to do more stuff. I want to prove to group one that I'm serious here. So we go into death where I do feel and felt from the beginning, this person has made some changes in their life for you. This person has been inspired to do things differently, to do things better. With death, I'm getting how they feel about you is that you are an instrument of change for them. You have made them see things from a perspective they wouldn't have seen if you had not entered their life. Okay. Scorpio showing up. Why do we have that uh, death for how they feel about you? 
They feel like shedding their old self for you and answering the call of the divine judgment. And so what that means is that they, what we basically picked up here is your person can no longer do things the way they used to do them. If they are going to have a union with you, which is what this person wants. Um, this person feels like how they feel about you is that you're special. You're powerful. Um, they feel like rising to the occasion, right? Some of them were not really following the right path or following the path they needed to. So with you, they feel inspired to do just that, to put it all on the line even. Um, I'll say with death and judgment showing up here, this person could feel so strongly about you. They could feel so strongly about protecting you. This is someone who could make sacrifices for you, who could, you know, put their life on the line for you. All right. That's a very strong energy showing up that you rarely see, but it's definitely coming through you've done so much for this person spiritually all right you've done so much for their confidence you've done so much for the new the the, the new and improved them to be expressed it feels as if they 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 would, you know, make sacrifices for you that you may not be used to um someone making here. This person feels like you're very spiritual. That's what was missing from some other connections they were in. Because, again, this is new to them. This is something they haven't experienced before. I think you've been dealing with a person who has dated for superficial reasons, material reasons. Oh, this person makes me feel good about myself reasons. This is the most selfless, I feel, connection they've experienced. They've already made so many changes here in their character for you. So again, more about change with the two of pentacles adapting um, to that change or the changes they're experiencing, how they feel about you. Uh, they feel definitely like, you know, it's time to start becoming more flexible, more versatile for you. Um, this person has been someone who has been set in their ways, but how they feel, we've already seen they, they could shake some things up for you. Um, how do you feel about you? This person could feel like they need you more than you need them. All right. Um, the, the nine of wands. Um, definitely coming through protection here. This says great strength in the nine of wands card. So I feel like this person wants to prove that they can be a protector for you, a provider for you, somebody who can do it all basically with the two of pentacles, someone who can do it all. The two of pentacles doesn't get enough credit for being a message of balance, being a message of adapting, being a message of, um, adjusting to changes here. And so I feel like with the, the message your person is sending for how they feel about you is that they've made some adjustments, some corrections in their life. It's cost them in a way, right? They've gone through some things. They've had some struggles. It feels as if they've been a little bit like beaten up for making these changes. This could be when people around them are not understanding that they have a higher purpose or calling and that they need to disconnect um, for some reason. I get that your person has, has made some sacrifices, has gone through a lot. So how they feel about you is, you know, they're, you're worth standing up for whatever they have to do, whatever they have to manage, right? Um, to make this connection work, it seems as if they've actually been doing just that. They feel like you're worth the sacrifice. Some of these individuals have taken on like their family in order to have a better relationship with you. All right. Um, the Hierophant. So I feel like how this person feels about you, again, getting into that spiritual connection, that very deep, intense connection that feels divine, that feels blessed. They feel like being faithful. Yep. Yep. That's a lot of responsibility, ton of wands, right? That's a lot of responsibility, but I like how we go from like the nine of wands, clarifying the two of pentacles, which is kind of about a little bit of instability, but, but fighting for stability. And then this person gets it, gets to stability with you. So 
Again, you're seeing kind of a flow of this person's energy where you changed their life, right? The minute they met you, you made some sort of impact. And it does feel as if ultimately they've decided to take some sort of vow or some sort of promise um, that it feels like they're making to themselves and to you, even if in a spiritual way, to take on that responsibility of being with you, being your partner, uh, fulfilling the purpose that you have together, being faithful and loyal in that energy. This person feels as if um, how they feel about you, they are worth, they feel like you are worth conforming to. No matter how hard of a challenge that can seem, they're willing to do it. The Ten of Wands is you or your person taking on a lot in this connection, emotionally, spiritually, uh, maybe financially, but they're willing to carry that. They're willing to do what needs to be done. And so going back to I'm loyal to you. Yeah, because they've made so many changes and adjustments in their life. It feels like out of love, you know, how this person feels about you is that you're worth doing that for. You're worth doing the hard things for, right? Sometimes in these connections, you get a counterpart who's not willing to make sacrifices for you, which is why, you know, things don't work. You make all the sacrifices. You do all the investing. But this person has been hit spiritually. There's not a lot of pentacles here. Um, there's not a lot of, about, you know, their sexual interest in you. There's more about, um, this person's spiritual that, or the spiritual impact you've had on them that feels like how they feel about you is you're someone who deserves to be revered, respected, honored. So in the extended, um, I'm going to grab more of these messages from your person in their own words to see how they feel about you. Um, I'm also going to take a look at how they feel about this relationship with you. I can actually grab one now and get more in the extended. So how does this person feel about this relationship with you? All right, let's take a look. Lightning. Okay, so I'll go into that in the extended as well as grab more. I'm also going to take a, a look at how this person, um, how this person would feel about being in a long term relationship with you. All right, I'm going to take a look at their feelings about the relationship now, and I'm going to take a look at the feelings they have about being in a long term relationship with you. I'll also take a look at how they tell their family they feel about you, group one, versus how they tell their friends they feel about you, which can be two different things sometimes, um, depending on the comfort level they have with the family versus the friends. So we're going to dig in and get nosy and see what's going on uh, more um, in your person's energy when it comes to you. But I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box. And I am taking this to the extended now. Hi, group two. It's the Sun Sage. And thank you so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading, which is how does your person feel about you right now? Where I am going to tap into the person you're connecting to romantically on a soul level, a person of interest to see how they feel about you. All right. This can give you some insight into what this person isn't saying about how they feel about you. All right. So um, before I get to that, I just want to take this time to thank you guys for liking the videos subscribing to the channel, becoming Patreons, checking out the extended, um, booking personal readings. I really do enjoy what I do. So I appreciate all of you that trust me with it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into your reading group too. So um, you guys were drawn to the clear quartz. All right. You guys are drawn to the clear quartz. And let's see. The, <laughs> the original tarot. Okay. So that's the name of this. This is the original tarot that you were drawn to. All right. So first I want to take a look at a message from your person that can give us some insight into their feelings before we step into the tarot. Let's see. How do they feel about you? Whoever you're thinking of, that is who I am channeling group two. How does this person feel about group two? I like you, but I love money. 
So this person could feel like they have to choose at this time in their life. They have to choose success or their ambitions over you. This is someone who you are connecting to deeply, but this person is maybe trying to keep this relationship surface level or not trying to get too deep because they feel like they have these strong desires to really throw themselves into a career or money issues. This is also somebody that could feel inadequate right now when it comes to dating um they may be one of those people who want who likes to treat people who wants to like buy things for you who equates um a successful relationship to a healthy financial life so i feel like you guys are connecting to someone who feels like you deserve a lot um who feels like uh, maybe they may be thinking you deserve um material things more than like just time and 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 sincere energy right now but let's go into the tarot to get deeper into that message all right so let's see how does this person feel about group two thank you so much how does this person feel about group two the four of swords all right group two how does this person feel about you the seven of cups all right the will of fortune all right there's some question here about the timing um page of swords okay the four of cups how does this person feel about group two thank you the tower all right so king of wands eight of swords this person is trying to get back on top this person doesn't have a strong financial structure going back to this i like you i like what i feel for you but i love money because it makes me feel more okay um like myself you know, when I said this person was trying to keep things on a surface level and then we have the king of wands. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of cups where I feel like how this person feels about you. Um, I'm getting a very apologetic energy coming from them. It almost feels as if like they're sorry they can't um, or they won't give you, you know, the relationship that you deserve right now, where they can't give you the time, the energy that you deserve. I actually feel like this person is acknowledging that you do deserve better, right? Not just from a material perspective. This is someone who could feel like a lot of regret um, because they are not expressing their feelings to you and they are not able to pour into this relationship. This person is incredibly distracted, group two. Um, the feelings that they have for you are coming through as confused, distant, ever changing, up and down, um, not, not really understanding their feelings. Um, Kind of like, <laughs> you know, with the tower shocking that they feel something at all when it comes to you. So, you know, I feel like you guys uh, could possibly know how this person feels about you. It could be an ex, somebody that you haven't talked to in a while, somebody you haven't really established a strong relationship with. But I will say that this is sincere regret right here for for how they feel. I feel like this person um, feels that five of cups because they're realizing the type of life they live not may not be the best for what you want. I feel like this whole message is coming through as this person feeling like you want something from them that they feel they are unable to truly offer. So let's break this down a little bit more and see what comes through. Okay. So how this person feels about you with the four of swords, I'm getting that this person feels like, um, there's a break, a very deserving break that's necessary, that's necessary happening right now. Um, they, they kind of feel like taking their mind off of you. And I do pick up where this person thinks about you quite a lot. Um, they could be seeing signs and synchronicities, things that remind them of you. This person wants a break. They feel like you have touched their heart. You definitely tapped into a part of them. They were trying to ignore <laughs> um, their heart space. And it does feel as if they're trying to like do the work to distract themselves from you. How this person does feel about you is that things are very quiet between you right now. There's not a lot going on. There's not a lot being expressed. They don't know you know, necessarily how they feel about you either. Uh, what's the four of swords for how do they feel about you? 
they feel like they want to understand their feelings more before they move forward or express anything. Yeah, that's the queen of swords right there. That's that energy in a nutshell. This is somebody who doesn't want to rush into things. Someone who wants to like get all the facts and information first. This person is processing their feelings from a logical space. They could be an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I was just telling um, someone this, but they could process their, their, their feelings from a logical space where it feels like they're not that open and receptive to feelings um, right now. This is someone who shuts you out. This is someone who you can have a great time with and they're not calling you you know, the next day because you've opened up a part of them or they saw, they felt themselves opening up and they don't like that. So I feel like this person feels, you know, how they feel about you. Um, I feel like there's something about you that makes this person want to shut down. They, they could feel intimidated by you. This person could feel like you want a lot from them or you're inquiring a lot um, about their plans. And it feels like they want to just tune this out and shut this down right now. Um, I also feel with those swords energies, very strong swords coming through, how this person feels about you is they may be untrusting of you at this time. Okay. Again, could be needing more information. They just, I don't feel like they like, like this place that you guys are in. All right. Some of you, this is someone you uh, separated from. This is someone you've gone no contact with. They don't like the space that you're in, but it does feel as if they're trying to like not focus too much on it because it could make them a host of things, angry, um, confused. It could make them feel like tense. So I, I just feel like you're somebody right now for how they feel about you. It's, it's, it's a lot of mental and emotional confusion coming from this person. All right. So right into the seven of cups, that confusion, how they feel about you. They don't know what they feel about you. They don't know if what they feel about you is genuine or if it was short, like temporary. You have the four of cups twice now. So, you know, this is somebody who is indifferent at this time, very disconnected from their feelings for you because it's too overwhelmingly confusing. All right. Um, so I do get the circumstances for a lot of you being there's been a breakup, but there will be those of you who haven't heard from this person. You were like, I didn't do anything. We didn't separate. They just stopped talking or whatever. And I get where this person just kind of got overwhelmed with the feelings they had, right? It's this indifference is like, it's not necessarily feelings of love or passion or, you know, wanting to invest in something, but it's feelings that they had interest in that they realized, um, maybe I'm not ready for that. And I need to take back my interest in this. So I do feel like you spark this person's interest at some point. It's just coming through that how they feel about you right now is they're more zoned out from this connection and their feelings from you. And so I do feel as if you're picking up, um, they don't care and they're indifferent and they don't have feelings for you. And I just, I, I, I feel that, but I also feel where this is somebody who has intentionally made it that. Right. So it's not like you've been connecting to this person or you connected very deeply and they were like, eh, this isn't going to work. This is somebody who had a connection with you that was consistent. And at some point it was triggering and they didn't retreat necessarily. Like sometimes I pick up, they kind of just like started moving, confusing. All right. That, that may be what you, you got is that they started doing things that didn't feel, you know, like, like things that they, they were doing at first. So, um, you know, the will of fortune, I feel like this person's feelings change at this time, right? This could definitely speak to what's going on between y'all, of course, but their feelings change. They're up and down. Sometimes they, they have strong feelings. Sometimes they 
have no feelings at all about this situation and about you. I feel like the will of fortune is saying this person is actually going through something in their life. They're tying you to some of the difficulties they're having. And they're like, this is a part of my problem. I was about to lose myself and feelings and love or whatever. And, you know, my life is not even situated because I got the eight of pentacles. That's what makes me, me feel like it's like about money or something. The status that they're lacking right now. Um, this person, let's see what the will of fortune is for how they feel about you. They could be, they could feel very cold. Like, you know, you text them and they're short with you or they don't respond at all. Mm -hmm. Page of swords, more swords. They feel like they just need more understanding of you and their feelings at this time, what you want. Um, this doesn't feel like somebody who plays games. It feels like they can articulate that there is a problem or some sort of disconnect between you. It just feels like instead of doing that, they've walked away because they could feel like you wouldn't understand them where they're coming from or something. So their feelings for you, there's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot they don't understand about their feelings for you. There's a lot more they want to know about their feelings for you. Uh, this is somebody who kind of has an icebox, you know, around their heart and they've been through some pain. They put up some walls. And they feel like you have to show them that you're worthy of them being vulnerable with or something. What's the page of swords? Thank you so much. You have a Gemini here. Also Scorpio, Leo. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Th so th how this person feels about you is they're kind of like, I'm not going to put myself out there, put myself on a line for this. If I don't know that this person is going to do the same, this could very well be someone who has feelings for you that are incredibly boxed in by ego and pride. Um, there's a fear of being vulnerable with this person, with the queen of cups. They have feelings that they're comfortable with. They just aren't comfortable with showing them, with expressing them. They 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 shut down at some point and feel like they want you to take initiative and show them what what you're willing to do to be with them or something. So it's interesting. I don't necessarily get that this is somebody trying to play with you, trying to play you. But I do get that this is a person who feels very skeptical about what they were feeling for you and need more proof or something with that Knight of Pentacles that your intentions are well-meaning. It could be something y'all said. There's a lot of swords here. So this is like when you get into an argument with somebody, and this is just an example. This doesn't have to be what happened. And you say something like, I was going to go back to my ex anyway, or I can always get somebody else. They they took that to heart. There's something that was said. It feels like they internalized it. They took it to heart. And they were like, if that's the case, why would I, you know, put out more? So they feel skeptical of you. I think that's a, um, that's, that's really what's coming through. There's some skepticism here when it comes to you because of some type of maybe harsh communication you could have had with each other. But they're mainly focused on something you said. And it's kind of like, well, I don't want this anymore, you know, with the four of cups. So how they feel about you, they they saw a different side of you at some point, group two, that they're holding to. They're sticking to that's the version of you. And they're like, well, I might as well just focus on money and myself. Um, It doesn't look like this is somebody who is really focused on dating other people. Um, but I do get how they feel about you. They're confused about your feelings. Um, they're confused about yours. And so they're not going to express theirs. What's the four of cups? I think they want you to feel shut out. They want you to feel the coldness. That tells me they've been hurt by you. 
Five of Cups. How do they feel about you right now? What's the Four of Cups? Three of Pentacles. This is a match energy type <laughs> connection right now. All right, fine. If you won't talk, I won't talk. If you won't apologize, I won't say anything. Kind of like that. They're, they feel adversarial with you right now. They're actually literally avoiding, you know, working things out and making things more simple with you guys, right? So how they feel is that it, it could, they could feel like it's too much work, you know, being with someone like you. They could feel like you're too high maintenance. There's the queen of wands. They could feel like you're way too passionate and intense for them. How they feel about you. Some of you, this person feels like you don't want them for the right reasons. But something about this mindset protects them from getting their heart broke or getting their heart broke again. I like you, but I love money. It, it, it sets a boundary, right? It, it, it feels like they want to energetically put you in your place because they can already feel you have desires that they may feel inadequate about fulfilling or their ability to fulfill them. Right now, you and this person could be at odds or feeling very competitive with one another. The tower for how they feel about you. I mean, they're very fearful of you at this time. They're very fearful of maybe, you know, you knowing things about them, having information about them right now. You saw a side of them that they don't reveal to everybody, so... I feel like how they feel about you is that you kind of hold their secrets, but you're not trustworthy. You could, you could ex expose secrets about them. They're not very trusting of you at this time. That is coming through. What's the tower? Thank you. How do they feel about you? They could, yeah, mm, the devil. They could be angry. They've been triggered by you, group two. I definitely can't hold this card up. <laughs> but they've been triggered by you, the tower and the devil. They could have like even felt like I am you're, like you're their karma or something. The the will of fortune is here. You're your bad karma for them. Or they ran into someone like you. Because they've hurt so many people and you match energy. Remember that matching energy vibe? So there's something about the tower with the devil feeling like this person cannot trust you at this time. How they feel is that there's too many complicated emotions happening and none of them are enough to make them fully invest their heart here or invest their heart here again. They feel like you're too difficult. They feel like this relationship has gotten very difficult for them. How they feel about you with the King of Wands. Um, so this does seem like a situation where you guys have argued or fought. A lot, you know, in this connection and it feels like they just feel the need to dominate you or take control of you. How they feel is that you need leadership or you need to be controlled. What's the key of wands here? This is someone that may like if you're getting they only want you physically. That's where they feel their power is with you. They have all the power there in their mind, at least, because if it goes beyond a physical connection, they lose power. They become sensitive and vulnerable. They trust. 
they give up their heart and they lose this. They lose this, right? The power in the devil and the king of wands. How they feel about you. You're a threat to their power. That's what it is. Three of cups. Mm -hmm. So now I get that this person finds comfort or a sense of complacency and meaningless interactions because with you it got too deep with you they got way too deep and and they feel like they're they're pulling themselves away from you um because it was supposed to stay or be something else and the minute it got deeper the minute it became about feelings this person feels as if they believe they were missing out on other things that they could be focused on that would not challenge them to open their heart. So you're dealing with somebody who you're in a power struggle with right now. Probably the more they ignore you, the more angry you get, the more you reach out. It's like a push pull, the more they pull away. So until they regain power again, they're probably going to stay away from you because your power is in how you make their heart feel. Their power seems to be in the impact they've had on you physically, intimately. That's just how this person operates because they don't want to fall in love and get their heart broke. So eight of swords here for how they feel about you. Um, they they probably are conflicted because they know they should treat you better. They know that you deserve better, but they cannot bring themselves to give you that treatment and give you what you deserve in that eight of swords. They may not even know why. Again, they don't understand their feelings, their triggers. Um, Yeah, that's ten of swords. Eight of swords, ten of swords for how they feel about you. This person feels like they're picking up that they need to leave you alone. For some reason that you are going to hurt them or ruin. This is ruin or going to ruin them. Okay. For how they feel about you. This is a, I need to, to break up with this person before they can break up with me. I need to distance myself before I get too hooked. Okay. With the devil here. And then they turn, turn the game around on me. So this person, um, is operating from a space of insecurity a space of deflated pride, a space of, for a lot of them, probably um, misogynistic <laughs> energies. They feel as if their power is in them being a masculine alone. And that should be enough. That's all you should want from them. If you start asking for their heart or for them to invest in you in some way, yeah, they're not willing to do that. So this person is wounded, basically. This person is kind of damaged. So how they feel about you is basically what you're seeing or picking up here is a reflection of how they feel most likely about themselves being reflected on you, which is why they feel they need to stay away from you because you're the mirror. Okay, you expose them. So um, I am going to grab more messages in their own words from your person in the extended. I'm going to grab a message here for how they feel about this relationship. Um, and I am going to do something different for you guys that I didn't do for group one. I'm going to see why this person feels like this in the extended. Why do they feel like this about you? How they feel about this relationship is heartbroken. Okay. So I'll go into it in the extended. I'll also take a look at why they feel these things, how they feel about how they tell their family they feel about you versus how they tell their friends they feel about you. And how do, how do they feel about a future, a long-term relationship with you? That could be very different from the energies I'm picking up here because there's clearly something your person needs to sort through and heal from. But we're going to take a look at messages about their feelings for you in their own words, messages about this relationship and how they feel, why they're feeling these things, 
how they tell their family they feel, how they tell their friends they feel, and how they feel about a long-term relationship with you. So group two, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out those details in the description box. And I am headed to the extended right now. Hello, Group 3. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next Pick a Card reading. So I really wanted to thank you guys so much for liking the video, subscribing to the channel, engaging in the comments, um, becoming patrons, booking personal readings, going to the extended. I really do appreciate you and just wanted to let you know. So again, welcome to your uh, uh, pick a card reading. Um, how does your person feel about you right now? Where I will be getting some insight from your person you are connected to in a romantic uh, way, in a romantic dynamic, um, a soul connection, or even a person of interest to see how it is they're feeling about you. All right. So let's get some insight into that. You guys were drawn to the orange calcite. All right. And the golden wheel tarot. All right. So I am going to grab a message first from your person to see how they feel about you in their own words. All right. How do you feel about group three? All right. Let's see what comes through. All right. It says you should know how I feel about you. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody who feels like, you know, there's an understanding at this time um, that y'all both have feelings for each other, that this is clearly something that has gotten off the ground somewhat. And you're just, you know, kind of just flowing, seeing where it goes, but you both like where it goes. This is somebody, there's mutual feelings involved. So if this person is feeling like you should know how I feel about you, um, this is because they show it or express it already for most of you. Um, a lot of you have gotten confirmation from this person that they have feelings for you. They could even love you. They could desire you. But I feel like this person is, um, you know, in this energy feeling like they've already acknowledged to you that there's love here or there's strong feelings here at least. Okay. So we are going to get into the tarot messages to see what they say. So group three, whoever you are thinking about, that is the energy of the person I am channeling. How does this person feel about you? All right. How do they feel about you right now? The hanged man. All right. How does this person feel about group three right now? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we have the four of wheels in the reverse. How does this person feel about group three? We have the two of cups. Okay. The world. How does this person feel about you right now? Something very selfless is coming through. Yeah, there's the king of cups. This energy is very selfless when it comes to you. They have expressed that they feel um, love towards you or care, all right, depending on the connection and the level of it. Ten of Cups, how do they feel about you? Two of Pentacles. Six of Wands, wow. So how this person feels about you? Incredible. <laughs> okay. Uh, the sun. All right. This person feels good. Great. Okay. Like I said, incredible. Those are not big enough words. This person feels a warmth. Okay. Uh, a very strong connection based on healing and love and feelings of reciprocity are coming through. So this person does feel like they, this is a, a kind of big personality coming through. I'm not getting that this is somebody who doesn't tell you how they feel or show you. So whatever their love language is, I, I feel like you've gotten a taste of it or you've gotten, that's how this person communicates their love to you. The son is saying that this is somebody who feels um just overjoyed and completely fulfilled with you. Okay. Um, how they feel about you is an indescribable feeling of freedom, peace, love, harmony, <laughs> joy. I'm just trying to get all the energies that are emoting from this card. Um, just completely liberated. All right. Um, probably for a lot of them free from 
mindsets that they once had about love or relationships. So how this person feels about you, they say, you should know how I feel. And so what I'm getting is that they've expressed it. You guys um, right now have Pisces here, Scorpio, Leo, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. So all the water signs are showing up. All right, so let's go ahead and break these down. So I'm getting to how this person feels about you with the hangman. I, I feel like they're in deep thought about you a lot, okay, for how they feel. You're just dreamy. I'm getting very dreamy vibes from this card. Um, this is also the Pisces message, which can represent Neptune and our dream space and fantasy, fantasies and fairy tales. So how they feel about you is like they're floating, um, like they are you know, in this, uh, space of constant reflection about this relationship, introspection about this relationship and how good it feels, how nurturing it is, how freeing it is for them. Um, I feel like this person is crediting you for making them see relationships in a different perspective. Okay. Possibly even seeing themselves in a different perspective. Okay. So you've changed their mind when it comes to love. What's the, um, hangman here? How do they feel about you? Mm, Ace of Pentacles. They feel incredibly happy that they've been blessed with you. Okay. They, they possibly didn't see you as a blessing initially, right? Not that they thought something insulting, but they probably didn't see it. I think maybe a month into your connection, this person got it. Oh, this is something special. For some of you, you know, it could have been sooner than that, maybe even, you know, longer than that. But something about this Ace of Pentacles, this feels like an awakening, an epiphany with this hangman about your value, the actual blessing that you brought to them. This person is feeling like you are a blessing, like you are wish fulfillment in this energy. Um, how they feel about you is that you've touched them, you've blessed them with your presence, with your spirit here. So they are, they are feeling a spiritual connection with you. This is something that, you know, is surpassed the, the physical. So they can look at you all day long and be attracted to you. They can be turned on by you. Um, but you know, this is a person that feels like, they can grow old with you and, you know, the, the foundation of this connection would be about love. It would be about spirituality. So the four of wheels in the reverse for how they feel about you. Yeah, this is feeling a lot like they've released all of their feelings, you know, and been very vulnerable with, for, with you for the most part. Um, I feel like this four of, of wheels in the reverse is selfless. It's, it's a, a lack of selfishness in this person when it comes to you. It feels like this person feels like they owe you. Okay. That could be something coming through, um, for showing them a new life or a new perspective in life. What's the four wheels in the reverse? It is the Knight of Swords. Oh yeah. This is someone who is protective of you. This is someone who feels like you've blessed them, like you've been selfless with them, like you've cared for them and that they would do anything to protect you here. This person, um, how they feel about you is that you're the right person for them. So, you know, this is somebody who feels like they are actually uh, sold on the idea that it's you guys that are meant to be together. You have um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra in this energy, but I do feel like you have someone very confident um, about what they feel, the rush they get, right? The Knight of Swords is a fast moving adrenaline rush about you. You know, they want to give it all to you. They don't want to hold back with you. So again, that's why they were like that. You should know how I feel group three. So yeah, this is somebody pretty confident that they have expressed themselves accurately when it comes to you. And then we have the two of cups. So of course, some of you could be in a relationship, um, a committed situation with this person. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's at least how it feels spiritually, right? It feels as if there is some sort of spiritual union between you already. And it feels like there are mutual feelings of love between you and this person. It's very deep. You have the two of cups, the king of cups, the ten of cups. So there is somebody loves somebody <laughs> and it feels like your person loves you, is deeply in love with you. What's the two of cups here for how they feel about you right now? 
this person does feel like they, yes, yes, like they have a responsibility to be good to you, to take care of you, to watch over you, to, to guide you, to lead you, to, to defend you. Um, it's not that they feel you're weak or that they feel that you're not capable of doing those things, but they are falling into a role of your divine counterpart and what they believe that role is about. And I like this energy because it shows that they take that role very seriously as feeling like you are worthy of their protection, their full undivided attention, their full undivided investment. OK, so this person feels like you're the one for them. Um, they do feel some sort of marital type bliss with you, even if you guys are not married, um, this person feels committed to you. They feel bliss with you. And so they feel like you are the person they're going to be with. That's a strong um, sense coming through. But this is already somebody, like I said, who's very confident in, you know, how things are moving with you, how they've expressed things to you. They're showing up in very strong masculine energy. So they're in the, they're taking the lead. They're, they show initiative. They make it clear to you, um, that these feelings exist. They don't want you to guess. So how they feel about you, the world here accomplished. They feel complete. They feel fulfilled with the world. They feel as if they've been through a lot in relationships and they never, ever, ever experienced anything quite like this. That's the world. They want to go through many more seasons and years with you. They're passionate about you and the journey you guys have been on. So you guys may have been together through three seasons, three years, something like that. Um, you know, you've been together for a while. Um, that can be symbolic or literal, the, the amount of seasons you've been together. But I do feel like this person's passion keeps burning for you. They haven't stopped feeling the intensity for you um, since they met you. So I do feel like this is somebody who you're connecting to, who understands a divine purpose between you, uh, a divine role that they're playing in your life here. It feels like this is someone who is very fiery um, when it comes to you, somebody who may even come through as a little bit jealous, but somebody who feels like you are theirs to protect. So how they feel about you is that and for some of you with the world and the Knight of Wands, um, you changed their direction. They may have always been passionate. They may have always been driven and knew what they wanted, but I feel like they may have lacked direction. They may have lacked some sort of focus. And with the, with this clarifying the world, I feel like they have a lot more focus. They have a lot more desire for longevity. They have a lot more desire to include you. This is a very selfless person when it comes to you. So I feel like right now this person has a lot of um, focus on a future with you. Okay. I actually take a look at that in the extended, but this is somebody who feels like they know you're going to be a big part of their future here. They're very blissful. All right. How like they, they feel good. Okay. So how they feel about you, King of Cups. This is someone who feels like they are feeling what you feel, right? They're responding to your feelings and they just want you to know I reciprocate. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it right with you. This is somebody who is very intuitive. Okay. They picked up that you have feelings or they can pick it up. Um, this is somebody who feels very loving towards you in a romantic way, in a friend way. You know, um, the emperor and the king of cups are sometimes fathers. And so this person could have a very paternalistic view of how they, um, are existing in this relationship, wanting to provide for you, care for you. Um, not in a weird way, paternalistic, but in a way that feels like, again, they know their role here, or they at least want to take on a role of somebody you never have to worry about them not being there for you. They're supportive. What's the King of Cups? It's the moon. So this person has been following their intuition. How they feel about you is that 
you, you, they got a sign very early on that there was something special about you. And instead of kind of running from it, you know, they may have been afraid, you know, there may have been some fear for sure, but how they feel is that they're going to take this opportunity. They're not going to miss out on it. Um, they're going to follow their intuition and the path of uncertainty because they want to be with you. And the path of uncertainty feels like it leads them to a future with you with the moon here. Pisces showing up again, very strong water energy in this um, reading. But this person, you know, is just really emotional about you. This may be someone who has cried over you, had dreams about you, um, has this sense of duty an obligation to you. Like they have to take care of you. Like they have to love you. They have to love you right. They have to be faithful to you. So how this person feels about you is um, there's a lot more <laughs> beneath the surface. There's a lot more you don't see about their feelings for you. There's a lot more. They probably feel like if I show group three is going to think I'm crazy over them. And a lot of them do feel like they are, you know, crazy about you in this energy. They feel like they understand that you're a special person and they don't get this, you know, so they're, they're holding on. This person has feelings for you that you don't know. There are feelings that you do know, but there are feelings for you that you don't know. The unspoken, right? The, these are those feelings. And I was telling one of the groups this, it's like, I would, you know, I would do anything for you. I would sacrifice for you. And I feel like they don't want you to know certain things. They're intense. I think you've made them more intense. Uh, I don't think they've ever been this intense emotionally. This overwhelmed, not overwhelmed. This isn't an overwhelmed energy. This is an over come energy. This person is overcome with their feelings for you to the point where they don't want to scare you away with what they feel for you. All right. So the Ten of Cups, how they feel about you is complete fulfillment. They couldn't ask for more. You're everything they wanted. Everything is falling together. It's coming, you know, everything is coming together. It's falling into place. Um, their feelings for you are like they feel full and abundant. Let's try that again. What's the Ten of Cups here? They feel like your family. There's the hangman again. Yeah, they feel like your family. You are one with one another. Um, the hangman with that Ten of Cups feels like their family, their view or perception of family looks a little different with you in their life for some reason, right? Um, they may have thought they had it all together. They may have thought... They were, they were never going to do this again, you know, relationship, love, the falling in love. And uh, again, you changed that perspective. You were like a blessing that fell into their lap and they couldn't let it go. So I feel like this person has had an epiphany about a future with you. This person probably dreams quite a lot about having marriage with you, um, children with you, a home with you, living with you, waking up to you, going to sleep to you, um, fulfilling whatever dream, shared dreams you guys have together, okay? So this person with the two of pentacles for how they, um, yeah, the two of pentacles, two of wheels here, um, how they feel about you. Um, I think it's sometimes hard for them to like manage all of their feelings. I definitely established here that there are deep feelings that it goes deeper. So they have a, a tough time kind of managing that. This is where this person, um, it's where like when you really, really are feeling someone, like someone, love someone, and you're like, I cannot see my life without them. You know, what would I do without them? Like you just scare yourself with thoughts. It, it, like they really do try to like manage their thoughts and emotions um, because they do feel so deeply for you. What's the two of wheels here? Yeah, that makes sense. They're obsessive. Devil. I can't hold that card up too much. But with the two of wheels here, I definitely get a, a kind of possessive, but definitely obsessive energy coming from this person. 
Um, that's what they try to manage because they got some mature energies here, some very um, emotionally mature energies. So they try not to run away with like some of the things that come through as possibly low vibrational jealousy, possessiveness. But, you know, sometimes they can't help it. This is somebody who like would threaten somebody who would try to hurt you or something. They're just really that serious about you. Um, this person does try to control their thoughts about you, too. They probably have like really like intense sexual desires for you may involve bondage <laughs> that they don't talk to you about. But I do feel like, you know, how they feel about you is that you're theirs and they can get out those fantasies and, and those desires with you. You're, you make them feel comfortable. Um, that's another thing for how they feel about you. They feel like you've given them space to be all of themselves, right? The good, the bad, the stuff that needs to be worked on. They feel like you've given them space to do that without judgment. They feel free. So the six of wands for how they feel about you, this is sometimes my, this is the one, you know, that that's the victory in this, um, when it comes to a relationship or feelings, like this is the one I found the one. So that's how I feel. Your person feels about you. Like you're the one for them. Um, there's nobody else that makes sense with them the way that you do. What's the six of wands? It's the seven of pentacles. So I feel like this person has been very unsatisfied with their love life, their partners. Um, I feel like they just connected to people. They were always too intense or something for the people they dealt with. You could feel like that's how your relationships have been too. Nobody's ever really been able to match your romanticism, your intensity, um, you know, your, your, your sacrificial, selfless nature or something like that. So they feel like they've been very unsatisfied in relationships. And this is the one that feels like it's worth investing in the one relationship that's worth working towards. All right. You guys may have met this person as they're older. Okay. Um, and so, um, how they feel about you is that they can't waste any time. And that could be an age thing. It, it could also just be a, you know, a sense of urgency, that Knight of Swords energy that came through that they need to take action. But something about this person doesn't want to sit on these feelings here. Um, they feel like they found the one. They feel like you're worth investing in. So what else, like, what else? do I need? That's where they're coming from. So I do feel like how they feel about you is, um, you're, you're very valuable to them at this, at this time in the relationship. So let's take a look, um, in the extended, I am going to grab more of these and clarify messages in your person's own words. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, okay. So let me try that again. So how does this person feel about y'all's relationship? And I'll go, I'll grab more of these in the extended. How does this person feel about their relationship with you? Thank you so much. Thank you. We have love call. So I'll go into that in the extended. I'm also going to take a look at more messages in their own words. Like, you know how I should feel about you um, and clarify those. I'm also going to see how this person tells their family they feel about you versus how they tell their friends they feel about you. I'm also going to take a look at how this person feels about a future, a long-term relationship with you. So I'm going to look at their feelings towards y'all's relationship now and what are their feelings about a long-term relationship with you, marriage, long-term partnership, whatever. Um, I am going to take a look at that. All right. So group three, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out those details in the description box.